Hello and welcome to my first ever Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to be building a Japanese pagoda, which is a Buddhist shrine that is common throughout Asia. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you take an iron block and make like, a corner, and you're gonna continue this out for 50 blocks. So and then you're gonna turn say this way, and then you're gonna make like a complete square. Okay, so now what you're going to do once you have that done is you're going to build a gold border around the iron border. So what the gold and the iron border combined are doing is they're sort of making like an elevated entry floor for the pagoda. And then the actual pagoda will be this humongous grass square within it. Um, so the key thing about this that I forgot to tell you guys is, is gold and iron, you don't have to use that. So if you're playing in survival mode, Clearly, you shouldn't be using this much gold and iron. Use maybe wood or, or stone or you name it, wool maybe even. Um, and that goes the same for all the materials and even the size of it, really. You can make it any size you want. Um, just make sure that the inner part of it is um, divisible by 3 when you add up the... So the perimeter of the inner part, so 49 by 49 for this one, uh, which would total up to 196 is divisible by three with the remainder of one because um, otherwise you sort of screw up the entire inner design and no we do not want that happening okay there's just one important thing I forgot to mention so um, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your iron ring you're going to count in 24 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Here we go, 24. You're going to now get that gold block, and the, and go, you see, there's four gold blocks there. I'm just going to put stairs there. I'm using stone stairs, because I think it matches the best with mine. But, since there's no gold or iron stairs, which really annoys me, by the way, um, you can't really make it as matching as I would have wanted. Um, so, now comes the fun part, which will be mapping out the walls of the pagoda. So, um, there, you need two materials for this, red wool and black wool. Um, there's a, there is a method to my madness. So what you're going to do is you're going to sort of skip. So you're going to go two reds, then a black. Two reds, then a black. All the way around. Um, the blacks are basically going to look like, um, how can I say it? Dividers between, it'll be like a grid, if you can imagine. A uh, black and red grid. And it'll look really, really cool once it's done. But for now, just hang with me, sort of. Because you probably think I'm just going crazy right now. And I'm, I am not, or I think I am not. Okay, so now that that's done, I just want to say I told you so. In the fact that the inner perimeter has to be divisible by 3 with the remainder of 1. You see how it matches perfectly all the way around? There is no, like, unevenness to it. The first time I built this, I did not do that, and it looked completely, well, not terrible, but not as good. So, um, remember to do that. Um, so, the next step would really be, and this is actually fairly easy, just build, um, the red and the black, both, up about six or seven blocks. Ah! Sorry about that. Um, so the red and the black up about six or seven blocks. And then once you get to the top, just cover everything in black. So you see how it's starting to form like a grid here? Look, see here's the first square of the grid. And then you'll just continue from there. But remember the one thing which I just messed up on. Leave four spaces open because you're going to have a doorway here. So you do not want to. Like, look. One, two, three, four. This can be full, but then, well, this can be full, but this one here has to start here. You see? And same thing here, these two have to start here. And you know what I would do? Just go into your inventory, take out fences. I don't know, do either nether rock or the regular. And I don't know how this looks, I'm testing this out right now, so, um, put fences along here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? See, put fences along there. 
And then you're just going to continue the grid in both directions until your square is finished. Okay, now you've built this pretty awesome uh, first wall segment. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the most exciting thing possible and repeat it again. So I did five blocks high and then the black. And so the only difference between the first segment and the second segment is the fact that on the second segment, segment on top of um, the black line, no matter where it is, you're going to put a red line, which is going to be a marker for um, either your attic or your next four, because the pagoda is literally a tiered building. So if you want to, this could be the end of it. And, um, you can only have one four and then have a roof with an attic, or you can build as many fours as you can possibly imagine. And then attached to that red line, you're going to build the support for the roof of this four. And um, so it looks like that. The only thing that I would add is is you're going to also build up the corner. I'm going to build up the corner. You're going to do this all around, but for the corners, you're going to do it slightly differently. You're going to have your same thing, except here you're going to go like this. You notice there's a space here for the corner, so don't use that. Then you're going to take these two, and you're going to go like that and that. You have like a W here. You see that? And now what you're going to do is you're going to put the middle in and go like that. So you have literally a W. That is being used to support the elevated corner of the roof. So say you're going to have like your roof. Here, You can I can actually just show this to you now. You have your roof, right? So here's the border. And here is the next floor of the roof, right? It's going to be like this. And like this. Two rows in. On the corner, it's going to be like this. It's going to be one here, right? And it's going to be one here. And then they're going to intersect here. And you're going to have like a little corner here. So what you're gonna, what's going to be here is it's going to be an elevated block. And it's going to give it a really cool sort of touch to it. And even if you want to, you can go like that. Just to make it more noticeable. And so build your wall, roof, wall around. And you can start on the roof if you want. I'm going to do exactly what I have there all around. Things for just making this look nicer. So the first thing I'm going to suggest. Well, not really suggest, but dictate is that you start building in the roof. So the way you're going to build in the roof is you're just going to go like this and then up another, etc. And if you're not going to be building another four, you're just going to go straight to the attic, which I highly do not recommend. Um, you're going to go just all the way in and then at the center, you know, make the center point and whatnot. Then the next thing is um, you also, if you're going to be building one, another four, you're still going to go in more just so it has that roofy feel to it. But then, and then you're going to plan it out again like you did for this. Um, the one thing is, is again, you got to make sure that the perimeter of it divided by three has a remainder of one. Or else you're going to screw it up like you could have done here. Um, that's number one. The second thing I would recommend, if you are hoping that this does not get destroyed, is put torches here. Because, once you build the roof and the, um, at either the attic or the next floor, this whole area here is going to be covered, and it will be pitch black without torches, and you could have creepers and skeletal archers walking around in here, and if you, at, if you walk in here once to do maintenance or whatever, then you basically just blew up 90% of your roof. So, I do not recommend that, so put torches there. Uh, the next thing I would do is I would take, uh, where is it? God, I hate creative mode for this. Nether brick fence. And put one on top of each of these. And on top of that, put a torch. This is so, on the outside, number one, your pagoda is very bright and visible. And number two, that mobs don't spawn right on your roof. Which is also not very pretty. Um, so... That is another important thing. Then the next thing I would do, let me just finish this up, to uh, make it look really nice is take one of the fences. I'm going to test both of them just to see which one looks better. Go down to here and run it. Uh, no, I don't like that. I like the other one better. Uh, run the fence. Oh, no, that's even worse. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Along this... Um, side these sides here um so you're basically just gonna run all the way around and here let me just do one side so I can show you how it looks 
So, what it basically is doing, sort of, is it's giving it that cool... I don't know how to call it. It's like, um... This is just, like, Asian-style architecture. They usually have something like this, like the little bars. It looks really cool. Just... And it looks like it really does fit the theme. So, that's another key thing. Uh, let's see. See that? You know what? I would even go down another one. Oh. So, below this, take it and go like this along the bottom of it. Because then, look what you have. Now you have it hanging, too. And that looks very cool. So, that is what I would do. I would take it and go along like that. So, you have to do the roof. This. You have to do the torches on the inside. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I'm invaded by slimes right now. I'm gonna have to kill those all before I start furnishing. So, um, hmm, what else? Yes, um, once you build the roof in, put torches in this design along the roof, wherever it starts to get dark. It'll look fine. It, it just really helps you. So go like this, go two up, and then one to the side. Then put a torch here. White wool here. A tor another fence here, another fence here, another fence here, and torches. Or you know what even? Just to add a little more white to it, I'd get rid of this and put in some glowstone. I do, let's see. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, so that's what you'll do. I would put one, if this is your final four, which I, again, do not recommend. Put it on top, and then four, and then like one on each side. Or maybe even two, I don't know. Just however much you need. Otherwise, just put one, if you're doing another four, do one along each side. So, that is basically it for now. Um, let's see, what else would I need to tell you? Oh, yes. Oopsies, that was a mistake. Um, you see this red line we built before? This is going to be the marker of your second four. So, I'm doing my fours in white wool, just because I like it like that. And so what you're gonna do, what you would do is you'd fill it in, right? But do not do this yet. But I just want to give you a heads up for it. Fill it in, almost. And this is all gonna be furnishing, but there's gonna be pillars and stuff. It'll look very cool once it's done. But um, you're gonna be doing that, and I would put it in a little because when you finish your roof, let's say this was the end here. Let's say you have your roof, right? Oops, you have your roof, right? And let's just say, I don't know if this would work or not perimeter-wise, but, oopsies. Let's just say, um, this was the end of your roof, right? What you'd do from there is you'd go back down to here, right? And you would, um, map it out from the floor. Because all this inner area, as I said before, is just going to be walled off. You're not going to see any of this on the second floor. This is going to be the beginning of your second floor here. So, um, that's very important. So just keep that in mind when you're building it. So run it down to where your second floor is going to be. And you know what? Maybe even build the second floor. That would be okay. Um, okay, it's getting dark. I just want to show you how these things look. So we'll wait till it gets dark. I'll sort of just be quiet for a minute. Do -do 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 -do. You know what? I'm going to kill some slimes stupid slimes. This is the one disadvantage of Super Flat Worlds, but it's the best place to do tutorials, so whatever. Where's that last slime? Those stupid slimes. See, me and my diamond sword are tight. Because we can just kill these things over and over again. Except they multiply, and that gets really annoying, but once we put the floor up, and they will not come in here anymore, we'll have lights and crap. Okay, anyway, I think it's dark now. Yeah, it's basically dark now. I mean, it's... Now they're visible. Now, look how those look. Those things look really cool. And then imagine if I had one of the candle... Like the... How do I call it? I'll call it a chandelier. You know what? I'm calling it a chandelier. When I take my chandelier, say, right? Look how cool these things look. Ready? So we put the glowstone in the middle. And we gotta get torches again. do 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 Okay, we got torches. Now look how this looks. This just looks very... It looks sort of funky, but it looks cool at the same time. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look... It adds taste. It adds, like, flavor to it. It's pretty awesome. Um, 
And then the other thing you may want to do is, you see how dark it is right along this side? Where the two black lines intersect, the two rows, every once in a while, you may want to put, oh god. Oopsies. You may want to put a torch there. So that, it, number one, it lights the place up. Number two, it looks fine. It looks pretty cool, you know? So, that is that. Well, that's basically it for today. This is what you should have so far. Um, the two things I wanted to say before I stop and start working on part two, which will probably be out um, in about either tomorrow or the next day. Oops, one sec. What I would do... Where's my dirt? Oh, wow, I missed it. What I would do for the front is I would build a gravel pathway about this long, four wide, all the way through, right? Like this. And so, okay, once it hits night, I'm going to just sleep if you guys don't mind, because I'm not going to be dealing with creepers right now, because I'm lazy. Um, let's see. Here's my gravel. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to build a gravel path. Oopsies. This is fun. Come on. Sorry, guys, I'm failing here. It's okay. I hope. Um, dum, 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 dum. Okay, so we got that. And then what I would do is, towards the center of the gravel pathway, I would build a too thick. Here, I'm going to fly for this if you guys don't mind. Too thick. About, I think, six high. Yes, yeah, six high. Pillar. From that six high pillar, you're going to go two out on the sixth fence. And two out on the fourth. And then you're going to switch sides and do the same thing here. Now, oops, connected to that on this side... I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Connect it. And just run this up. And then run this here. And then here, do the same thing. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, and now you have this cool little entry archway that you can do whatever you want with. Um, okay, so one thing I want you guys to do is please, um, like this video, tell your friends about it, um, and subscribe if you want to. The other thing is, more importantly, I do not know what to build after this. So, well, I have some ideas, but I want all of your ideas, because if you can give me an, any idea, I'll try to build it. And if I can succeed, I will film it and show you guys.